Hey YouTube, what's up? It's John Willie seventy seven. Um, I am uh, coming to you with my week five update. I can't believe it's been five weeks um, since my surgery. I feel awesome. Um, and uh, let's start out with the numbers. Uh, my starting weight, my heaviest, um, three eighty four eighty five, uh, about last July, and then my surgery weight of 350 um, and today week five I weighed in at 317 um, hold on one second I'll be right back all right so this is why I stopped this little guy right here um, was crying good week uh, so far I lost a pound um, I think I don't remember what my last weigh-in was. I think it was like 318 something. Um, and uh, maybe a pound point six. Yeah. And the crazy thing is overall I've lost more weight than my two sons combined. So this guy who's weighing in about 20 pounds, my other guy who weighs in about 34 or 39 pounds. Um, it's crazy to think that I was that heavy when carrying him up the stairs right now feels, you know, pretty crazy. Uh, I mean, it's, it's easy, but you can definitely feel the difference in the weight. Sorry. There you go. Um, so, um, let me talk about this week a little bit. This was a good week. Um, started out really well, and um, I, it was going to be a challenge for me because I was on the road. Um, so I weighed in. I, initially, I dropped down to like Tuesday mornings. Every time after I make my video, I think tomorrow morning is gonna be the same thing. Um, the Tuesday seems like the day that my body turns the cycle on weight. Um, I'll plateau for four or five days throughout the week and not change a bit, and then literally like Tuesday morning, it's five pounds different than it was before, and it stays that way for the rest of the week. Um, this week, probably no exception, although I bumped up in, in weight, I think a couple of reasons, I'll tell you. Um, on Friday, Thursday, I left for Denver. Um, we opened the season, the D-backs opened the season in Colorado. Um, so this was my first road trip with the band. And um, I think for the most part, well, no, I did. For the most part, I did well. Eating out is, is hard on the band. I have zero restriction right now, none at all. Um, I can eat anything I want, uh, but it's right here um, where we have to we have to challenge ourselves when we have the band. Um, if you haven't watched Casey Quinn's video, check it out. It, it's a uh, it's on mental toughness and failure um, and overcoming these things and really admitting that it's not. It's not the band that's going to do this. It's not the band that is going to make us lose weight. It can't be the band or, or none of us are going to, if we relied solely on the band, I think there's probably a lot of people out there and probably a lot of people watching these videos that rely solely on the band um, and aren't losing like they should. Maybe drop 50 pounds in the first six months and then nothing. On the band, we should be, somebody like me, for example, who is 300 and 50 pounds is going to lose more. That's granted. I have, I'm bigger. I have more to lose. Okay. Um, there's more, you're tired, huh? There's more, yeah, there's more fat on me. So I'm going to lose more quicker, um, than somebody, than somebody who's 250 pounds. Um, and you know, isn't going to lose quite as much. Um, so basically, what I, I'm rambling here, but watch Casey's video. She really gets into it. Um, I can't tell if she's calling people out. I think she probably is, and we deserve that. Um, because I could come on here and tell you that I didn't cheat all week. Um, you're, I'm not cheating a diet. You're cheating a lifestyle. Um, did I? Absolutely. Um, I was out on the road um, traveling with my assistant, and... Um, you know, you're in the middle of Denver, you have nothing to do but eat at great places, um, and for the most part, I was good, okay? Um, I had salmon one night, and uh, 
asparagus I had, but then he ordered dessert and I had a couple bites. Um, it was bananas, you know, so we write it off as fruit, but it was, you know, like a banana cheesecake thing that, that probably was not good. But again, moderation. In the past, I would have eaten a huge meal plus an appetizer and then crushed that whole dessert, if not more. Um, but I've been, uh, it, it's changed. My lifestyle's changed for sure. Um, and I notice that every time when I think, I, I recognize those times when in the past I would have made that bad decision. Last night, for example, just coming home from the airport. Um, normally, what we did coming home from the airport was stop at Taco Bell. I pick up a 10 pack of tacos and some bean burritos for my wife, and I'd crush 10 tacos um, in a heartbeat. Um, that's probably my, that's probably three times the calories that I'm eating in a day right now. Um, so I am aware of my past and my history and the things that I did to get myself where I am today. When everybody accepts that and when everybody becomes aware of that, you're going to change. I've made that change. Now, am I, am I going to be challenged with that on a daily basis? Absolutely. Are there, there's 10 offices around mine that have peanut M&M dispensers, Reese's peanut butter cups, Hershey's minis, everything out. Have I been tempted? Absolutely. But what do I do? I've limited myself to one a day. If, if I'm having a massive craving for, for sweets, which I am lately, um, because I have no restriction and I have, um, my willpower has to kick in, this lifestyle change has to kick in. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it because if I don't and I binge, I'm going to be in a worse shape. I can eat one and I can burn it and I, I'll burn it off. But I've been really good at, at, at forcing my, not forcing myself, at controlling myself to just eat one. I think that's okay personally, okay? You're talking 40 calories, you know, you're going to burn that off eventually. Um, will you make better progress with that? Yeah, probably. Um, but one thing my surgeon said uh, to me during our last support group, or to everybody, was eat the full fat, allow yourself that flavor and that taste. Now, is that the same thing for sweets? No, it probably shouldn't be. But for me to curb that craving and not binge on an entire, I can't tell you how many times I wanted to buy the whole Hershey's bar at the snack, a snack machine. And I haven't done it. I look at the calories, look at the sugar um, every time before I think about doing something like that. And uh, it talks me out of it. But the trip was good. Everything went well uh, on the trip. Now, I started w lifting weights. Um, my water intake is crazy high. Um, and I came back last night, weighed myself, and I was 320.6. Now, I was the same exact thing this morning. I didn't feel well this morning. I think I had some bad chicken. Um, so uh, most of that was toilet weight, but I am lifting my muscle. I, I have a tendency to get big uh, muscle-wise because I used to lift competitively. And um, so that takes over. And, uh, and I plan on bulking up. I mean, I want to be muscular. I, I mean, that's kind of my body type. I want to get that way. And muscle burns more than fat, but muscle also weights more than fat. So don't get discouraged if you plateau out. So tonight I weighed myself after a great workout today, after I started feeling better, 317. Okay. So in the morning, I'm likely going to be about 314 because that's usually what my night to morning is. Um, so that's where I am with that. Um, so don't get discouraged with, I, I love weighing myself daily. I don't know about everybody else, but I love weighing myself daily. Um, I think it's big for me to stay on track. I didn't like being away from my scale. Every scale is different. I was working out in the hotel every day and the scale was way off all the time. Um, so just a couple of things to think about. Uh, things went great. Um, I'm going to throw some pictures up right now. Um, this was my front shot before and after, um, taken probably in July and the other one taken a couple days ago. And here is my side shot, front and side. Um, so, uh, you know, hopefully this, this motivates everybody. It's motivating me like crazy. And uh, this guy and the guy sleeping upstairs and my wife are motivating me more than anything. So focus on that, everybody. All right. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. Love you all. Bye.